So we are Eurobicum, a 3D printers manufacturer, and we produce FDM printers for industry. We decided to get involved in the movement for support of medical staff and to fight back coronavirus. And we decided um, to produce some equipment. Well, there are enormous shortages of equi medical equipment in the world. We decided to produce a um, very simple ventilator that can be produced in any place in the world uh, with very basic parts and a 3D printer. It's extremely simple. Uh, all you need to do is to download STL files, load it into your 3D printer, print it with the basic materials, and you need some additional components that are very common in the world, so they can be bought locally in Africa, in Asia, in South America without any problems. If you have a car, you can use it as a power supply for a ventilator. Uh, you can uh, take some parts from your car and fit it into ventilator and that will work. So it's very universal. That's, that's the main advantage, that's the goal of this project, to support people with the ventilators that can be made in any place in the world. The, the manual is very, very simple. It's just a couple of pictures. Even if you have pictures of that uh, and some very basic technical skill, you are able to, to mount the 3D printed ventilator. It's an open source project, so we are inviting all the people of goodwill, uh, engineers, medical staff, designers to help us to spread the project in the world and to make it better. Well, we believe that uh, the poorest countries in the world will face the problem of the shortages of the medical, especially uh, complicated medical equipment. Among them, there are ventilators. They would, won't be able to buy it because they won't be ventilators. Uh, we can survive in Europe, uh, the North America will survive, the uh, industrialized part of Asia will survive. But the rest of the world, they will not have ventilators. They won't be available in trade, but they can be made locally. That's an enormous, that's a big and main advantage of this project.